in this video we discuss on classification of enzyme the enzyme commission ec divides enzymes into six main groups each with different subclasses based on the type of reaction they catalyze each enzyme is assigned a four part classification number and a systematic name which identifies the reaction it catalyzes the six groups are the first one oxido reductases which catalyze the transfer of electrons hydride or hydrogen atoms the second is transferases which catalyze the group transfer reactions third hydrolysis which involved in hydrolysis reaction transfer of functional groups to water then fourth group is lyases which catalyze addition of groups to double bond or formation of double bonds by removal of groups then fifth group is isomerases catalyzing isomerization reactions then sixth ligases the enzyme which involved in the formation of bonds by condensation reaction by the utilization of atp mainly cos coc then coo con bonds we will discuss one by one in detail first oxido reductases this oxido reductases enzyme involve redox reactions in which hydrogen or oxygen atoms or electrons are transferred between molecules here this enzyme include or catalyze the reaction which involve redox reactions that is the transfer of oxygen atoms or hydrogen or electrons oxygen hydrogen or electrons are transferred between molecules by this enzymes this extensive class include the dehydrogenases which um hydrogen which catalyzes hydride transfer then oxidases which catalyzes electron transfer to molecular oxygen and oxygenases which involve oxygen transfer from molecular oxygen and peroxidases which involve electron transfer to peroxide these are the major class of enzymes coming under oxido reductases oxido reductases mainly involve or catalyze reactions which involve the transfer of hydrogen oxygen or electrons or hydrogen oxygen or electrons are transferred between molecules dehydrogenase is an example for oxido reductases which involve hydride transfer then oxidases the, here the electrons are transferred to oxygen or the this oxidases enzyme catalyzes reaction which involve the transfer of um, electrons to molecular oxygen then oxygenases here the oxygen transfer from molecular oxygen the oxygen is transfer from molecular oxygen to other molecules then peroxidases here the electrons are transferred to peroxide then second class is transferases transferases which catalyzes the transfer of an atom or group group of atoms example acyl alkyl or glycosyl groups between two molecules here the enzyme catalyzes reactions which involve the group transfer or the atoms or groups are transferred between molecules between two molecules this type of atoms or groups acyl groups or alkyl groups or glycosyl groups are transferred and this transferases catalyze that type of reaction but it doesn't involve the transfer of oxygen hydrogen or electrons that is catalyzed by um, oxido reductases all other transfer reactions mainly acyl alkyl or glycosyl groups or uh, or uh, atoms which other than hydrogen oxygen or electrons are catalyzed by this transferases example aspartate amino transferase example four transferase enzyme is aspartate amino transferase you have to mention one minimum one example for each uh, group 
Then third one is hydrolysis. The hydrolysis which involve hydrolytic reactions, that is the reaction with the water and the reversal. The hydrolytic reactions, the, here the water is involved. This is presently the most commonly encountered class of enzyme within the field of enzyme technology. It's the most utilized or uh, what used enzyme in the enzyme um, technology or enzymeology or enzyme technology. And this include uh, thioesterases, glycosidases, lipases and proteases. These are the most widely used enzyme in enzyme technology, hydrolysis. Here this involves hydrolytic reactions and their reversal. Then fourth one is lyases. Lyases are enzymes which involve elimination reactions in which a group of atom is removed from a, the sub, a substrate from a substrate or from a, a molecule from a what, substrate a group of atom is removed which involve the elimination reaction in which a group of atom is removed from the substrate this include aldolases decarboxylases decarboxylases is uh, here the carbon dioxide is removed from a molecule decarboxylation the ca removal of carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is a uh, but a group of molecule it is removed that, that type of enzyme is called decarboxylases then dehydratases and some pectinases okay and this uh, do not include hydrolysis hydrolysis means some eliminate uh, but the breaking down reactions that enzyme is not included in lyases all other uh, elimination reactions group elimination reactions are catalyzed by lyases Then isomerases, fifth one is isomerases. <coughs> isomerases are enzyme which catalyzes molecular isomerization, which catalyzes uh, molecular isomerization. Isomerization means the molecular interchange. Okay. Isomerization and include the epimerases and intramolecular transferases. Another example for uh, isomerases enzyme is intramolecular transferases. Here the within the molecule the, the uh, some groups or atoms are um, um, translocated that type of reactions are catalyzed by isomerase enzyme okay, the group transfer within molecule occurs that is isomerization process then last one is ligases the ligases enzyme also known as synthetase enzyme synthetase enzyme form a relatively small group of enzymes which involve the formation of a covalent bond joining two molecules together it is uh, uh, what called as a glue it acts as a, it acts as a glue or uh, molecular glue uh, for joining two molecules it catalyzes a reaction which involves the joining of two molecules two molecules are joined to form a single molecule or they are joined together such type of reactions are catalyzed by ligases they are known as molecular glue okay, example for this is glutathione synthetase glutathione synthetase it's a synthesis this uh, enzymes are involved in synthesis reaction synthesizing synthesizing to, uh, a molecule from two molecules joining two molecules forming a new uh, compound such type of reactions are catalyzed by ligases so there are six categories of enzymes oxidoreductases transferases hydrolases lyases isomerases and ligases <coughs> next we will study the enzyme commission number what is enzyme commission number the enzyme commission number is also called ec number every enzyme is having a particular four part number that number is known as enzyme commission number the enzyme commission number is a numerical classification scheme for enzyme it is a numerical classification scheme for enzyme based on what based on the chemical reaction they catalyze here based on the reaction they catalyze according to that a particular number system is given to a particular enzyme that is called a EC enzyme commission number or EC number as a system of enzyme nomenclature, every EC number is associated with a recommended name 
for the respective enzyme. That is every EC number is associated with a recommended name for the respective enzyme. Strictly speaking, EC numbers do not specify the enzyme but enzyme catalyzed reaction. The EC number specifies not the enzyme but the enzyme catalyzed reaction. From that number, we will get an idea about what type of reaction that enzyme catalyzed. Every enzyme code consists of the letter or start with EC, capital letter EC, followed by the four numbers separated by a gap or a period. Every enzyme code or enzyme commission number consists of the letter starting the letter with EC, capital letter EC, followed by four numbers separated by periods or gaps. Those numbers represent a progressively finer classification of the enzyme. Those number represents a progressively finer classification or what is the, uh, the, the actual reaction they catalyze. That is mentioned by these numbers. So that is known as enzyme commission number. Then enzyme commission number, I will tell you how we can uh, read the enzyme commission number. Here th there is one example. The tripeptide amino peptidase have a code EC 3.4.11.4. That is a EC number. It is having a four part number. That is 3 is one number. 4 is the another part. Then 11 is a third part and the 4 is the fourth part. E start with EC. The tripeptide amino peptidase have a code EC code starting with EC 3.4.11.4 then EC 3 the first EC means enzyme commission number EC represents enzyme commission number 3 represents the enzymes are hydrolysis because the third category is the third category EC 3 is we know that it is hydrolysis so the 3 represents that this enzyme, this tripeptide amino peptidase is a hydrolase enzyme. The enzyme that use water to break up some other molecules. You know what is the function of hydrolysis enzyme. So 3 represents hydrolysis. EC3 means enzyme commission. Uh, number 3 that is enzymes are, this enzyme is hydrolase enzyme. Then next part is 4, 3.4. The 4 are hydrolases that act on peptide bond. Okay, the 4 represent they are, the 3.4 means they are hydrolase enzyme that act on peptide bond. They act, they cleave peptide bond. They specifically act on peptide bond. The 4 represents that it is acting on peptide bond. Then the four, third letter EC 3.4.11 are those hydrolases that cleave off the amino terminal amino acid from a polypeptide. That means those hydrolases that cleave off the amino terminal amino acid from a polypeptide that is meant by 3.4.11 the last part EC 3.4.11.4 are those that cleave off the amino terminal end from a tripeptide that is the last figure it is represents the tripeptide the amino uh, the cleave those that cleave the amino terminal end of from a tripeptide cleave from a tripeptide so that is clear the, everything about that enzyme is clear now this 3.4.11.4 that means this so we will get a clear cut idea about an enzyme and not an enzyme about the enzyme catalyzed reaction from enzyme commission number so last uh, we discuss on <coughs> the type of reaction uh, catalyzed by the this six categories of enzyme the first EC1 oxidation reductases here they catalyze oxidation reduction transfer of hydrogen or oxygen or electrons okay here the reaction is AH plus B gives A plus BH here the hydrogen is transferred from AH to B A to B the hydrogen is transferred from A to B that is AH plus B gives A plus BH or A plus O the oxygen is added A plus O gives AO <coughs> this type of reactions are catalyzed by the oxidoreductase enzyme which is having EC number 1. The example is dehydrogenases and oxidases. Then EC2 transferases 
transfer of acyl alkyl or glycosyl groups here this b a plus b sorry a b plus c gives a plus b c a b plus c gives a plus b c here some groups are transferred the b is uh, transferred from a to c by this transferase enzyme the b group is transferred from a to c that becomes a plus b c then example transaminase and kinases then enzyme combination number 3 ec3 hydrolysis here the formation of two products from a substrate or hyd or their breakdown both are catalyzed by this uh, what uh, enzyme hydrolysis that is ab plus this involve the reaction with water ab plus h2o gives aoh plus bh here this ab is a compound that is uh, broken down into AOH plus BH. So addition of water. So it is uh, broken down into AOH plus BH. This type of reactions are catalyzed by hydrolysis, lipases and peptidases. You have to write this uh, reaction also while um, uh, writing the classification of enzymes. Then you can easily uh, understand. Then fourth is EC4 lyases. It is non-hydrolytic addition or removal of groups from substrate. Here also group is removed, but it is not with by the addition of water. The water is not involved here. For example, RCO, COH gives RCOH plus CO2. Here the carbon dioxide is removed from this. Okay, this type of reactions are catalyzed by lyases. Okay, the example is decarboxylases. Then EC5 isomerases. Here the, uh, the catalyst is intramolecular rearrangement that is called isomerization that is AB the structure is AB first A then B then it becomes first B then A BA that type of reactions are catalyzed by isomerases AB to BA that is isomerization <coughs> example isomerase mutase etc are example for EC5 isomerase enzyme then EC6 ligase enzyme they are joining. I told I, this is a, a molecular glue for joining together two molecules by synthesis of a new bond. That is CO bond or C, CS bond, CN bond or CC bonds are, uh, <coughs> are, uh, uh, what, uh, are uh, formed by the usage of ATP. Here X plus Y plus ATP gives XY plus ADP. X plus Y plus ATP use X Y plus ADP. Here is some uh, mistake breakdown with breakdown of sorry with breakdown of ATP. Okay, the ATP is broken down here. Okay, the joining together two molecules by synthesis of new CO, CS, CN or CC bond with the breakdown of ATP. Here one molecule of ATP is utilized for the break uh, for the formation of the CO or CS or CN or CC bonds. Here th this is represented by X plus Y plus ATP utilizing ATP and it is hydrolyzed it is uh, broken down and it is utilized and the form the XY is formed a new compound is formed the sized with the, the ADP ATP is converted into ADP this hydrolyzed the hydrolysis of ATP so this example is synthesis so that's all about uh, this enzyme uh, classification and uh, Enzyme Commission number. Thank you.